the equation we got in our calculator. And now we're transforming it. So these cancel out and you're left with y hat. This side over here is going to be a little bit different. So we're going to do 10. Now, with logs, if you guys ever remember with logs, you're going to write 10 log x, and this, this number right here becomes the exponent. The one thing I will tell you that I like about power models is that I think the equation is a little bit nicer for you guys. So, again, when, you, when you're doing log of both sides, remember I, I threw a fit because I did this wrong. This becomes the exponent for x. So what's going to happen is we're going to do 10 raised to the negative 0.1364, and we're going to get 0 0.7305. You guys... We are round, like we rounded a lot. I rounded in the equation, now I'm rounding again. Remember, it is, we are going to have some round off error. You guys see this 10 in this log? They cancel out and then you're left with x raised to the 3.1387. And that is your transformed um, equation. So let me show you. So what I did is, um, you don't have to do this, and I'm just showing you, okay? I, I think that I want to show you stuff, but at the same time, I don't want you to get so wrapped up in the calculator. I want you to remember that everyone, like, someone's doing this for you, but I want to show you. So what I did is I went into my calculator, okay, and into the y equals, and I typed in the equation that I just transformed, okay? And then what I did is I went into second y equals, and I'm going to graph it against my original data. Because what we've done, we've gone back to our original data. Okay, so we've done the logarithms, we did the line, we did all that. And now what I want to do is I want to do a zoom 9. Okay, that would really work well if there was a line that would be graphed. And that is because it really helps you guys when you put a decimal in where it needs to be. I'm just letting you know because <sighs> try number two. Here we go. Zoom nine. Okay, try number three. Because the third time is the charm. Boom. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. So now there, there's a couple of things. It's not perfect, right? It doesn't go through that last one. But we did do some round off error. So if we, if we, if we changed a couple, but that's our, that is, why are you guys, are you guys okay with that? Is that not what you got? I, just, I don't know. I think I did it wrong. What we've learned today, okay, is a power model, log, please hold as Ms. Flurry gets a new piece of paper out, a power model is log, log x versus log y, right? And what that means is it takes the logarithms of both the explanatory and the response variables. We also learned that a power model could almost look like an exponential model. It doesn't matter if it's decreasing or increasing. We use this model. So this is good for either increasing or decreasing. But we also, we also learned today that 
You cannot use a power model if you have a zero in your explanatory um, data, okay? So, but does not work for any zero. So this model does not work work for zeros in the explanatory data. Okay. So you guys are probably thinking, so what do we need to know, right? Like my, I, I don't understand, you don't want us to do in the calculator. So what I need you to know is I need you to know the three different ordered pairs. LN, you know, like the X LN Y, the X log Y. I need you to recognize log X log Y. I need you to be able, if I give you an equation, correct, in a form, you're able to tell me if it's a power model or an exponential model. And you need to be able to transform both equations from that from the trans the linearized um, transformation to the transformation for the original data um, and you just need to understand what and the reason I had you do that ventricle one that with that heart one was because and we did it in the calculators because I really wanted you to understand what the calculator was doing um, you don't have like because what will happen is, Okay, did I take the logarithms? Did I do this? We can just, we get so wrapped up in hitting buttons on our calculator that we're losing sight of what's better. You should be able to look at um, a graph. So look at original graphs and determine what it looks like. And if you can't decide if it's an exponential or a power model, we would decide on the correlation. We would look at correlation next. Okay, so... What, they're, what they'll do is, what they're interested in is, can you look at a residual plot and determine? It goes back to the same thing. If, it, if your data is nonlinear or linear. And then, can you pick out the best graph um, to linearize and can you linearize a set of data? Um, I think that's it for today. You guys have any questions for me? So on Monday, what you guys will do, because um, obviously, um, I do have an assignment, but I'm going to put it up Monday. Um, there's going to be two things on Monday. There's going to be a cumulative review that I'm going to have you guys start. And then I'm going to have um, a worksheet for you guys to do. If you're here on Monday, I'll print it out for you. If you're not, it will be online. Hybrid Bees, it will be online for you. Um, and this video will be up. I'm pretty sure that this is, um, hopefully, it's okay. And I think that's it.